Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I'll show you what to do if the spacebar, enter and backspace keys are not working on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run a troubleshooter. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. And in here in the command prompt window, make sure to copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below and just press on enter. Now simply click on next and Windows will try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards, you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to disable sticky keys and filter keys. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Then in here, click on accessibility on the left pane and afterwards on the right side, locate the keyboard option and click on it. In here you have the first two options called sticky keys and filter keys. Make sure that the toggle is set to off for both of them and you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update or reinstall the keyboard driver. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. And now in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand Keyboards, right click on the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best available drivers directly on your PC. But if this doesn't work properly, you can also right click the problematic device and select the Uninstall Device option. Now just click on Uninstall to confirm your choice and afterward restart your computer. You will see that your keyboard drivers will be automatically reinstalled after restarting and then you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to run your PC in a clean boot environment. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type msconfig and then select System Configuration from the search results. In here, move on to the Services tab, then simply tick the box next to Hide All Microsoft Services, then click on the Disable All button. Now switch to the Startup tab, then click on Open Task Manager, then make sure to disable all the unnecessary apps in this list. Now close this window, click on Apply and OK to save the changes, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to perform a system restore. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in RSTRUI and select it as a run command from the search results. Now click on Next in the new window, choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred, then click on Next and afterwards click on Finish to start the restoration procedure. Afterwards, wait a bit until your PC will be restored and then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching!